day, good day to all my fellow royal fanatics. Let's dive into another installment. Meghan Markle and Harry announce major event. Sussexes make latest move into campaigning. Meghan and Prince Harry continue to shine a light on causes close to their hearts. This Sunday, the pair will join forces with Miss Yofiza, the outspoken advocate for girls, write to an education and discuss the invisible barriers keeping millions of young women out of school. The trio's conversation will be live-streamed through the YouTube and Mahala Fun social media channels. Meghan, Harry and Miss Yufsiva, attention will be on why it's essential that we champion every girl's right to learn according to Bazaar.com. The topic of education for girls isn't new to Meghan. Much of the Duchess of Sussex's humanitarian work before meeting Prince Harry was focused on female empowerment and bringing girls into education. Meghan could continue this battle as a member of the royal family, also thanks to the fact she became patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities. During her first tour abroad, in the late summer of 2018, Meghan delivered an impassioned speech in which she highlighted the struggles many women face to enter higher education. During the successful Sussex's tour to South Africa, Meghan's attention was once again on female empowerment and opening the path of education to girls. Meghan and Prince Harry had already pledged their support to the fight for equal access to education around the world after starting their post royal lives in April. Some of their fans launched a fundraiser in favour of female education charity CampFed to mark Meghan and Harry's birthdays, respectively, in August and September, and gathered more than £100,000. Moved by the show of support to causes close to their heart, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex matched the donations by fans. Ms. Yufaiza has become a symbol against dictatorship and female oppression after surviving a vicious attack in 2012. Pakistani-born Ms. Yufaiza was famously shot in the head and neck on her way to school after the Taliban found her guilty to raising her voice in favour of allowing all girls to go to school. The then 14-year-old eventually survived the attack after being flown to the UK for medical treatment. Rather than being intimidated by her aggressors, the brave teenager continued her battle against an even bigger platform to speak in favour of education for all. Ms. Yusaiza, who while in Pakistan had revealed the dream to become a doctor, graduated earlier this year from Oxford University in philosophy, politics and economics. Wow, what an inspiring tale. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. It's nice to see the good in the world, isn't it? If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a like. Smash a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for the latest updates. Turn on the notifications and you'll receive new videos as they release. Wishes daily, by the way. Goodbye for now.